soon as Pengu updated their tool, and that's happened already. So today Pengu released the English version of Pengu, and I wanna advise you guys not to use it. And I'll explain why in just a second, but there is a proper way to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3, and the new English version today is not the way to do it. So first off, Pengu has also updated their tool to 1.2. So if you guys were having problems earlier jailbreaking, now is the time to do it. It's been made much better. It's much more stable. And if you guys were holding out on that, now is the time to jailbreak. Also, with this video, my goal is to walk you guys through any and all problems you may encounter. So I want to you know, hold your hand through this process and let you guys jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 the proper way. Pokemon Go, if it's not working for you, I'll show you how to fix it. If you guys are having issues with Cydia not installing things, I'll show you how to fix that. And just in general, if you cannot get this jailbreak working, I will show you how to do it. So more recently, Apple revoked the certificate for installing PP jailbreak online. So you can no longer do it without a computer. And that's the sad part because it was such an easy way to do it. And now everyone that did that method, their uh, Cydia is crashing, not working properly. So you guys need to redo this jailbreak that I'm about to show you if that's going on for you. Also, why not use the English version? So first off, the English version that was released today is using a seven day certificate to jailbreak your device. Meaning if you jailbreak using the English version, that jailbreak will stop working in seven days and you guys need to go back to your computer, re-sign the jailbreak and use it for another seven days and do so every seven days. Can you imagine how annoying that will be? So. I'm gonna show you guys a method for doing this using the Chinese version and the jailbreak will last one year because it's using an enterprise certificate. So one year from now, yeah, you guys will need to go and re-sign the jailbreak, but hey, who cares about a year from now? It's just gonna take you, what, like 10 to 20 minutes to redo it, so not a big deal at all. Now, contrary to popular belief, if you actually go to some big websites, I download blog uh, to be precise, they're gonna tell you that this method no longer works. I can, for a fact, tell you this method still works. So the one year method with the enterprise certificate is still working and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak using this method the proper way. Sorry guys, I will be talking a lot, but there is a lot you guys need to know and I wanna make sure you're well informed. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak the proper way on 9.3.3. And if you guys are not on iOS 9.3.3 yet, get there. There's really no reason for you to stay on an older firmware. So update to 9.3.3 right away and we can go ahead and begin the jailbreak. And I also wanna mention that this jailbreak is now working for iPad Pros and the iPod Touch 6th generation. So if you were unable to get that to work, it is now working properly. Also, will there be a 32-bit jailbreak? Most likely not, just because uh, the exploits used are not the same ones needed for a 32-bit jailbreak. That's a whole different story on its own. And I think the, the reason they didn't work on that extensively is because Less and less people are using those older devices, so the need for that jailbreak isn't as big as a 64-bit. And would I have it any other way? No. Honestly, I'd rather they release just this jailbreak for 64-bit devices instead of waiting and waiting and waiting forever to release it on all of them. So sorry, but they have made no immediate intention of releasing a 32-bit jailbreak. So I guess I'll keep waiting for that. If it ever happens, I'll release a video, but we don't know anything about that right now. So first thing you guys wanna do, you need to navigate to the Chinese PP jailbreak website. I will We'll leave a link down below. Go ahead and click on the big blue download link and you will download the PP Jailbreak Assistant, the latest version with uh, Pengu 1.2 inside. So that's what you need. It'll look just like this on your desktop. Go ahead and right click on it and run as administrator. Now, not everybody may run this if you're on an older version of Windows. This works on Windows 10, but on Windows 7, I heard there are some issues. So you wanna right click and run in compatibility mode by troubleshooting the link. All right, so you guys wanna go ahead and let it install the PP Jailbreak Assistant. It'll only take a couple moments. And uh, now that I've done this a couple times, I can walk you guys through this confidently just because of how simple it is. And I know it's all in Chinese, but it's still really, really simple. There's no reason to do the English version just because you can't understand what's going on in this one. But anyways, go ahead and click on this green button and it will launch the final assistant. Make sure your device is plugged in and again, updated to iOS 9.3.3. You want to do this. If you haven't already, there's no reason to delay. Be on the latest version 
version with the stable release, all the good stuff. I heard the speed is even better, so why not? And we wanna go ahead and click the big green button. So this may take a couple minutes just because uh, with the enterprise certificate, it does take a little bit longer than if you were signing it yourself. But as far as I know, it will not ask you to put your Apple ID inside anymore. If it does, uh, just go ahead and do that, but it shouldn't. So you will get some CAPTCHA, go ahead and put it in, DHFC, and uh, on our device, now we need to go to our profile section. So in settings, general, you wanna scroll down and if it hasn't appeared yet, it should in a minute. So I'm just gonna leave it for a couple seconds and it should appear here and we're gonna go ahead and trust it. All right, so you'll know that the jailbreak is finished once you get that little happy computer icon. And on your device in settings general, you wanna go into the device management section and trust the new profile. It's going to be all in Chinese, I know it's fine. And uh, yeah, you should see this little P jailbreak app on your home screen. So opening it up, you wanna make sure to trust the notifications. Allow it because that is part of the jailbreak. Inside you'll see the circle ring, go ahead and click on it. And before you lock your device, sit on this screen for like 15 to 20 seconds. For whatever reason, I found that the success rate is better if you just let it sit on the screen before locking it. Also, this is version 1.2, so that's good. We know that we have the latest, most reliable version of the jailbreak. So go ahead and lock your device. It will immediately light up and you should see a little Chinese icon for that app. So the jailbreak is running in the background right now. We know it is working and the very first time you run it, it will take the longest. It should be like a couple minutes. Uh, your device will respring on its own, it will restart and that is when we know the jailbreak is working. So guys, I just wanna say, don't do the English version. I mean, if you're watching this, the Chinese version isn't too difficult. There is really no reason to go and do the English version uh, just because you can see and read it. <laughs> but anyways, so unlock your device. We now have Cydia on it. Now uh, you should be able to open it without a problem. And uh, yeah, that's the first time it's gonna set up. It's gonna take a couple minutes. Go into your sources or changes tab and hit refresh if it doesn't automatically, but it should. And those are all of your apps. So the very first thing we want to install is the Apple File Conduit 2. So what this is, is basically, it's gonna allow us to run the uh, jailbreak properly. It's everything we need to do right away. So go ahead and install this, it is a must. And if you guys don't see it, go into the changes tab, hit refresh, and uh, you should be able to find it right away. But anyways, I'm gonna install this real quick and I'll be right back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and address some other issues some of you guys may be experiencing with this jailbreak. All right, so you'll know that this jailbreak worked properly and you have the one year version. If you guys go into the profiles uh, right here and it says Beijing Hong Wan online technology, whatever. So this means you have the Chinese version of the Pangu jailbreak, which is the one year one. I can't emphasize that enough. Trust me, it is so annoying to have uh, the other one, which you'll see your Apple ID in here if you use the English version. Not fun to resign it every week. Anyways, so let's say you reboot your device. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and walk you through the semi-tether part. So I forgot to mention in the beginning, but this is a semi-tether jailbreak, meaning if you guys do turn it off, you lose battery life, your tweaks will not work, Cydia will not open. That is completely normal. I know some people were getting freaked out about that, like my jailbreak stopped working, but really, you don't need a computer to make it start working again. Just restart your device and I'll walk you guys through it. All right, and we are back at the springboard. So Cydia will not open, it will crash. That is completely normal. So we can go into here and click OK again, click on this guy, sit here again for like 10, 15 seconds. It seems to work better for some people that way and we can go ahead and lock our device right after. So it'll do the same thing, it'll just restart, and in the end we'll have a working Cydia again. And you need to do this every single time you restart your device. That's what the semi-tethered means. Good part is you don't need a computer for it, so not a big deal at all. All right, and there we are. So now Cydia will open. And I just wanna mention something, you guys can uninstall the PP Jailbreak app. So this one right here, you know, you don't need to have it. It's a third party app store. You guys can go ahead and uninstall it from Cydia and uh, your jailbreak will still work properly and all that. So just wanna let you guys know about that little detail. So if you guys cannot run Pokemon Go, it crashes or it just doesn't work, uh, that's because it has jailbreak detection. And how do we bypass that jailbreak detection? Very simple. So just go into sources. So we're gonna go ahead and add the following source, coke, pokes, .github. .io, very simple, add that. As soon as it's done loading, we're gonna search for Master Ball. So this application will actually prevent Pokemon Go from shutting down when it detects jailbreak, and any issues you may have had, this will resolve with Pokemon Go. So that's one issue. 
Moving on to the next. As for everyone else wondering why they cannot install Cydia applications yet, that's because of the stashing issue right now with the jailbreak. And I can go ahead and show you guys how to fix that as well. So you'll notice if you ever go to an app and you want to install it, it doesn't let you do it. It just doesn't. So how do we fix that? You want to add another repo and that's this one right here. Make sure it's HTTPS coolstar.org slash public repo. So go ahead and add this one. And this is going to fix that stashing issue we've had with Cydia where we can't install anything. And search for stashing for iOS 9.2 to 9.3.3. Go ahead and install this. And uh, this actually will free up some room on your device as well, which is the awesome part. So I'm gonna run this, I'll be right back. And we can go ahead and return to Cydia. So now when we search for a tweak, you can go ahead and install it without an issue. So unless of course it's not supported on the newest firmware, but you guys will be able to install tweaks now without a problem. So guys, there it is. That is my updated guide on how to jailbreak 9.3.3 the proper way. It was really sad 